Oh, hang on a moment. Sorry. Right. Now, I've chosen what I find a very calming... Oh, rubbing you out. A very calming colour here, because nobody likes this kind of question. I'll read it to you. A class of French children go on a school trip to England. Let's hope they don't get food poisoning. Ah, that only counts if you looked at one of the previous questions. A pupil buys a teddy for £14. Right, so let's draw our... Here's our teddy. Give him a smiley face, shall we? Yeah. Teddy for £14. And a box of chocolates. Right, here's our box of chockies. Should we put a lid on it? Yes, because we wanted to eat some of them, didn't we? A box of chocolates for six pounds. She works out that the teddy cost 16 euros and... Oh, 16.8 euros and that the chocolates cost 7.2 euros. Are they cents? I don't know. Isn't that awful? But chances are, if you're doing it, it's because you got the question wrong. So I'll forgive you that if you forgive my appalling ignorance. Is it ignorance or dementia? I don't know. How much will a, cost, a mug costing eight pounds? cost. So here's our mug. Ah, we'll have some nice hot coffee in it. Good. What is the golden rule? First find one. Now I'm going to find out what one pound equals from this because I don't fancy dividing this by 14. It just looks a bit tricky to me. That Actually now I look closer at the numbers we could do it could work. Um, so we're going to find out. So we've got our six pounds here. Supposing I just draw our six pounds here for the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what we're going to do is we're dividing this cent by cent. I'm sure it's not cents. Into these until we find out how much is in each one. So we find out how much each pound is. Now, if you did it like that, you would be stark bonkers. Just bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. So Maths wise, all we're going to do is we're going to divide this by six. So six goes into that once, remainder one, bring up the decimal. Six goes into that twice, six goes into that naught times. So now we know that one pound equals 1.2 euros. But how many did we want? We wanted 8, didn't we? So if we multiply this side by 8, we multiply this side by 8. So let's have a quick go at that, times 8. 0 times 8 is 0, 2 times 8 is 16, 1 times 8 is 8, and 1 is 9. How many numbers after the decimal? 1, 2. So we bounce it in, 1, 2. So it goes in there. So the answer is 9 euros 60. Shall I write it there so it fills in our... Thing nicely. We could have divided 14 into this quite nicely. Um, I just felt a bit scared of it and since you have to make a choice you might as well choose something you fancy. Um, should we just try it? 14 goes into that once, remainder 2, bring up the decimal, 14 into 28 goes 2, naught. So it's still £1 equals 1 1.2 euros. The golden rule, first find one.